Hi folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com. Um, so I've got a quick overview of the latest Jedi X ROM. Uh, if you go to settings here, uh, about phone, and uh, you'll see that uh, I'm running Jedi X9, uh, Android 4.1.2 for your T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. I really love this ROM. This is uh, my go-to ROM. Now with the latest version, let me show you what's been updated. Uh, so. In settings, you will find a bunch of stuff here. Um, let's go over the 23 toggle settings. Now, you know your toggles at the top here. Um, it only comes with 15. Now with this, you can actually uh, change your toggle buttons. Um, so let me go to widget buttons here. And you can see, uh, let's say I want to toggle Android Beam. Let's say I want all of it, uh, which would be 23 toggles. Then you can enable it all here a uh, smart stay all of this uh, brightness modes um, you can also change that and also sound modes uh, which way the sound will toggle when you hit the toggle button um, so let me go ahead and hit the back button here and uh, you can even change the uh, orders here simply um, drag and now uh, when I look at my toggles I've got a ton of toggles you can get up to 23 uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to and uh, that's been added uh, which is really nice and for overclocking now it's using Saber kernel uh, which you can overclock here uh, but I found this ROM really fast without any overclocking now if you want overclocking go ahead and over overclock it to uh, 1.8 gigahertz this ROM also has been optimized um, to run really nicely uh, on battery with 1.8 gigahertz um, so you can go ahead and apply boot apply on boot and also you'll notice you got the 5x5 five five, uh, launcher instead of the uh, standard 4x4 four four. Uh, very good ROM for those of you just starting out uh, with the um, the custom ROMs, rooting and custom ROMs and uh, what else is there you can also tweak the kernel uh, voltages here if you want to I don't really recommend it um, but you can, and also SD Booster. And you can get all of these uh, boot animations, uh, very easy to install. Android lo logo, go ahead and install. And that will install it, I won't install it right now. Uh, but you can go ahead and get all of those uh, boot animations. Font changer, now be careful with the font changer. Um, do make a backup ROM. I've had a lot of problems uh, where you know, I'll end up in a boot loop after uh, changing the font. But other than that, this is one of the best stock like uh, with added features and also the multi window has been uh, enabled for all apps so you can be on dolphin and uh, simply drag the internet to get two browsers if you want and uh, that's kind of cool and let me show you one more thing um, it's got a pop-up browser of course um, you can there we go drag and uh, drop I know I've, I've, I should be doing it on on a desk, but I've thought I'd figure a change of setting just for fun, and I just do it here. Actually, the main reason is that with ROM with this ROM, I've been getting like really good um, speeds, and that's why I'm by the window. And uh, usually, I only get uh, maybe like three to five megabits per second download, but with this ROM. Um, I've been able to get like near 15 megabits per second download. Now I'm, I'm still on H. Uh, oh, there we go. So I, I hit 4G there. And let me show you some of the speeds. I don't know if this is just, you know, just me. Or um, you should actually test it out. But I've been getting like, yeah, look at this. I've been getting like some really good speeds. And I was running some uh, uh, stock ROM before, right before this. And I install this and I just notice the change. But when you test this, make sure you are in an uh, area with very good uh, T-Mobile signals. Uh, if you're on T-Mobile, definitely give this a try. I think because this ROM is based off the N7005, um, that could be the difference. And also, Wi-Fi tethering works. Uh, one of the reasons I like using this ROM is that uh, tethering works just fine. Um, just go ahead and uh, enable it. Uh, been working just fine for me. And uh, let me just go enable it. And this is one of the ROMs that um, I think bypasses a lot of the T-Mobile uh, blocks because it's already based off 7005 instead of the T-Mobile um, stock ROM. And also, this does not have uh, Wi-Fi calling. So if that's a concern, definitely this is not the right ROM for you. Uh, but otherwise, 
it's a very good ROM. I've been seeing speed improvements, uh, especially my network speeds have been like ridiculously fast uh, on 4G HSPA. Now it will say 4G if it's uh, HSPA plus. Now that's just HSPA. And even just, there you go, I just jump, jumped up to uh, 4G. Wow. Um, so my network speed have like improved like twice or three times. I'm not sure what's going on, but definitely this ROM is doing it. And uh, I would like for some of you to test it out on your uh, T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2 if you have one. And do let me know if this um, that is the case or just it's just I'm <laughs> seeing things. No, I'm, I'm definitely not seeing things. Um, after installing this ROM, I saw a chump in my speed from this exact same location. Uh, this is my parents' place, anyways. Uh, anyway, check it out, the latest uh, Jedi X ROM. I think this is the best ROM out there right now. Um, that's running, you know, that's running multi-view uh, based off TouchWiz. Um, uh, you know, I mean best ROM as in like stable, good daily driving, and great uh, ROM for those of you beginners who are just starting out, who want something that's working. You don't want to be messing with bugs. No bugs on this ROM. Um, you know, so that's it. Anyway, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, any of the Galaxy Note 2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2.com. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys later. And stay high on Android. And go Niners, if you're a Niners fan. Yeah.